Friday night we played well. Um, you know, we we shot it well again. I think in our combined games against Brandeis, we made 29 threes this year. So that's uh, you know that was a good uh, you know a good thing. And we played you know guarded well. And you know anytime you can get a hundred in a UA game, it's pretty uh, special. And I think that's the first time since 1996, 97 that we scored a hundred. And yesterday, then we scored what well, we end up I think 96 or 98 yesterday. So uh, pretty good weekend. Uh, good teams, you know Brandeis. They're a good team. They had an injury, so one of their guys wasn't there. And NYU, that's a battle. You know, they were pretty similar uh, offenses when we play against each other. So it's going to be high scoring. And first half, we gave up way too many threes. And then the second half, we held them to three. And, you know, made, they only made three threes in the second half. And, you know, Ian comes up and makes a huge play. And then, you know, we go down and make foul shots when we need to. And that's really, like, if you look at our schedule, that's really been, like, closest game. Like, we haven't had a close game like that really all year. And, you know, I guess Emory at Emory was close, but you know where, you know it's back and forth, and you make foul shots to win the game. So that was, you know, I was proud of our guys, and you know it was nice for uh, Danny to get his thousand points. And, you know, he's such a good individual, good player, good teammate. He didn't want us to call timeout, to waste the timeout, to acknowledge that he made it. And then after the game, he told me, "Oh, he walked by me in the locker room. He said, it took a lot of shots to get a thousand, coach. So let's just keep that in perspective." It's going to be big, like every game from here on out. And, you know, Rochester is reeling a little bit. I think they lost three out of four. And, uh, you know, so they're going to be ready to go Friday night. It's a mask game for them. And, you know, of course, Emory, everyone knows, you know, Emory, it's either Emory or Wash seems like wins the UA every year. So, you know, they're they're right there. I think we're tied with them in the game ahead of Mellon or whatever it is. So massive games, uh, you know, last home games of the year. It's crazy to think that it's their last home games of the year. But, uh, you know, it's... They're both well coached and they'll be prepared for us and hopefully we're prepared for them. Cole, I think, you know, was the guy that really helped change this place. You know, he came in as a freshman and got over 500 that year. And then, you know, last year we had to run and then this year, you know, so he's probably one of the, you know, that class is probably the one class maybe graduated in school history that every year was over 500. I don't think they can probably, I, I, it doesn't happen, you know what I mean? It hasn't happened here. So, you know, Cole, uh, you know, he's a transformational, uh, you know, player for us. He's done uh, a lot of great things, been a great player for us. And, you know, Jason and uh, Josh, like they don't, they haven't played as much maybe as in their careers as they wanted to, but, you know, they've always been consistent teammates, never complain, never, you know, do everything the right way and, you know, value, you know, help their program immensely, you know, get to where we need to be. And, you know, and then, you know, Mitch, you know, we, we have Cole where he changed a lot of things. Mitch, maybe we'll go down arguably as maybe the, those two might be the two best players ever played here. You know, the arguably go down is that, and, uh, you know, Mitch didn't have to come back for his extra year, and he did, and, you know, and thankfully we have him, and, you know, he, he's just a really, you know, really great kid and, you know, helped change his program as well. And, you know, and then Danny, you throw him in, and, you know, I, I was talking to someone the other day, and I said, you know, Mitch doesn't realize how spoiled he is to play with Griffin Corniker and Danny Frontheim two years in a row. Uh, it doesn't happen. I'm spoiled as a coach. You know, two guys that I was looking the other day to see if Danny's going to break this single season uh, assist mark. And then I realized how many assists Griff had last year. And I'm like, that's going to be hard to get to. So, you know, but, uh, you know, we're lucky to have Danny and, you know, leader, great player, you know, more about the team than he is about himself. And, you know, those are hard to find. And, you know, they spoil you when you have guys like that. And, you know, it'll be great to honor those guys, that, uh, you know, this weekend. And hopefully, uh, you know, we play well with those guys out there. Hi, my name's Phil Frilling. I'm a senior on the Case Western men's basketball team. We lost that season uh, my sophomore year and uh, lost a couple of fellas along the way, but it's nice. It's kind of been interesting. You look back and kind of see how things have gone and progressed and whatnot. Uh, so it's kind of uh, like nostalgic, but also a happy thing because also we're 16 and three. So it's a, it's a nice thing. Get two more wins is, is my goal. I'm glad that we, these last two seasons, we kind of showed uh, what Case Basketball is hoped to be in the future and kind of thing, build something for future teams. And and that's kind of what I'm I'm proud of uh, the last two seasons. And hopefully we can keep going with this season, make the tournament again, make another run, maybe even farther than that kind of thing. So um, that's more what I think about when I think about my time here rather than individual. It's more team based is 
is we've done a lot of things with this team and kind of with the school. We're always having fun. Even in the losses, there's still some fun, but I mean, it's a lot less fun. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's always, it's always fun. Everybody gets on each other in practice and things like that. Like I'll be on people in practice about things or they'll be on me about things in practice, but uh, we're all still, we're all still boys at the end of the day. We're all still brothers, all still friends. So uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have wanted to play anywhere else. Uh, it's a lot of fun here. Love all the guys I play with. I got a job offer to work after. Um, I'm kind of still up in the air though. I would like to pursue like a, um, a graduate degree, not sure specifically what. There's a lot of things moving around. I'd love to come back here and play again. Uh, but I mean, we just gotta figure out some ways and things like that. My overall experience at Case has been really great. Um, I would recommend it to anybody who wants to play here or even just go to school here. Uh, it's, it's a challenging time, but I mean, you get a lot out of it and you'll leave with a great degree no matter what you're going in. You'll meet a lot of fun people, or not a lot, a lot of nice people, a lot of fun people, a lot of helpful people. Um, Everybody's friendly. That's a great thing too. And everybody wants to see you succeed. I've, I've learned all these things while I've been here kind of thing.